What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Monsters of Etheria video. In today's video, we will be going over how to unlock every single Etherian to date. Um, just remember, um, just a warning. At any time in this video, if I stop talking, um, it's just me thinking. Because this one is going to be a little longer, almost like an hour. I think, maybe. But, it's not... It's just how many Ethereans there are. There's a lot. Just like Pokemon, there's, I think, 837 Pokemon. If I'm correct, I kind of won't be amazed, but... Because I kind of already know that. But, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, I have this paper right here that has all the, um little things on how to get the Ethereans because I already have like most of them unlocked. Um, some of them I don't because um, it's just not compatible with um, mobile yet because like some you need to harvest things. Like I, I think I could have done it the other day because it, it was working the other day. Um, but now it isn't. So I... Put them all down on this piece of paper. And let's hop right into it. So the first one is Boxling. Now, Boxling is often found hiding in boxes and in barrels. What that means is, if, I, if it will load. Come on. Um, you just really just keep opening barrels and... Like I said, it's not working for Android, or for, um, mobile. Um, so just open barrels, and it'll say you got a boxling. Um, the next one is one coin. And I'm going to switch to a, a faster Ethereum. If it will load. Come on. There's a La Fairy. Oh, let me turn this up. Come on. Is the sound on? Come on. Okay, it's working. Settings. Audio is on. Weird. Okay. So the next one is Oinkoin, which is collect 500 credits or have Roblox Premium. And what that means is you can either buy Roblox Premium or you can complete your quests and you can get the credits from here. I think it's easier if you do that because you don't have to spend money on Roblox Premium. Um, the next one is Irasper, which is complete a Miner's Life for Me quest. Um, if you go to Whistleboro Cave, let me get there really quickly because I have La Fairy. Come on. If you go in here. And you go to the miner, and he'll tell you something. I can't talk to him because it's not compatible with mobile yet. Um, he'll basically tell you, um, can you mine me five pieces of coal? He gives you a pickaxe, you come over here, you mine the coal. It's not compatible with mobile, so I can't do that. Wait. Did I do it? I don't know how I did that. Kind of just like walked over it. Oh well. You collect the five coal and you bring it back to him and he gives you an eye rasper. The next one is Cryo Ball. Catch a cryo snowball in the snowy hills biome. Um, so an easy way to do that is to just um, get an Ethereum with a sound based move. 
or just an Ethereum with, um, what's it? Earthquake. So you get your Ethereum, and god, this is being slow today. Yeah, evolve it, do whatever you gotta do to get to Earthquake. Come on. Evolve it. Then you make your way over to um, the Snowy Hills biome. Wish there was a faster way of doing this. I just don't like there to be like pauses in videos. It's just kind of weird. Come on. Run along, little doggy. If you go to the Snowy Hills biome, you might not to you might not have to use like earthquake or something. Sometimes they just like fall. I found mine in um in the ocean somehow. It might have just rolled in there. But you can use earthquake to cause um an avalanche and Hopefully we can get a cryo snowball. There's got to be one somewhere. Hello. Cryo snowball. No. Doesn't look like there's one here. Is there really none? Hmm. Well, you can do that, and a cryo snowball will come down, and you just walk up to it, and- Oh, wait, there's one. Oh, there they are. So they must roll down after. So you walk up to it, and you get a cryo snowball. And you get cryo ball. Uh, the next one is Eletoid, or, or Eletoid. Um... All you gotta do, and it's perfect timing right now, um, is go over to the factory, or the power plant, not factory, which we gotta make our way downtown, or the beach. Ooh. There we go. And get into the power plant. And it says, um, find a wandering spirit in the power plant at night. And here's one right here. And you just walk up to it. And you get an elatoid, a letoid, whatever it's called. Um, the next one is Makibi. Um, use the ancient flute. To appease the spirit of the world tree. This is very good news. We have confir er, confirmation that this... Well, it might be confirmation that this tree over here is called the world tree. All you have to do is you go down into the dark facility. You walk into that big room. Go to the room on the left. The ancient flute will be in there. You come over here. You stand right here. I don't think it matters where you stand. You go to your bag, and you go to your key items, and you, you would use the ancient flute. Spirits are pleased with your skill with the ancient flute. You begin to feel revitalized, and it will give you Makibi. Um, the next one is Kung Fu, which I do not have. Um... Defeat three opponents using punching attacks. Um, this one is a little bit harder. Um, because Kung Fu, when, before the remaster, was my main for the punching attacks. Um, but there are some now, like Lucifice, if that's how you say it, and Chamber. Um, they both start out 
with Ice Punch. And I do like the design of Chamber. It's very nice. I'll get to how you get it um, later when it comes up on my list. So Chamber starts out with Ice Punch. Um, and you walk up to somebody. You kill them or defeat them with Ice Punch. And you do that three times and you will be okay. Um, the next one is Salad Blinder. Um, hit the target, or hit at least five targets in the target practice minigame at the mill. Um, what I did for this was I used my Maju. If anything will load. This might be a long video because of this. Yes, blame it on the game. For not loading. I used my Magu. Or Magu. Whatever it is. It's just like Pokemon. You kind of need like confirmation on what the real pronunciations of the Ethereans or Pokemon are. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Go through the portal. And this one should take us to the desert. Yes, it does. So, the windmill is right over here. What you have to do is just fire one attack at that starting one. Doesn't matter what attack it is. And I completely missed. Because it's off on mobile right now. Um, they gotta fix this because it's kind of annoying. Um, you just hit that. Targets will pop up along the wall and the windmill and you have to hit at least five before the time runs out and you get Salad Blinder. Um, the next one is B Hero. Prevent 15 trees from burning down using water attacks. Um, I don't have this one either. But my theory is, grab a friend, or phone a friend, tell them to join you. Um, I would recommend using Kindite, because that is the easiest one to get if you're first starting off the game, or if they play the game and you don't, and you're just asking them to help you get Be Hero. Um, you can ask them, they can join, and you can come over here to the town and this is taking a long time and I went the wrong way you can go over here they can start burning down trees and you can just use water attacks to prevent the trees from burning down and that's how you get it or my theory um Lulla fairy fall asleep next to a dream catcher so, this has a specific place you need to go. You need to go up to the snowy hills and go to the village on the top of the hill. So all you gotta do is go over here. There's the Atlantitan that's just walking around. I I need to level up my um my legendaries. I know Maju is or Majuka is um, level 100, but, like, my other ones are all below level 30. So you go to the Frosted Village and watch out for the hole. And you go into here. And over here, you'll see a Dream Catcher. Now all you have to do is just sit here for, like, a m 30 seconds, maybe. <clears throat> and it'll say you fell asleep, and it will give you Lullafairy. Let's see if I can fall asleep. Yes. Okay. Then it will say you got Lola Fairy. And then you can't respawn for like tw uh, 15 seconds. 
Uh, the, oh, oh god. The next one on the list is Spookums. Um, all you have to do is explore the haunted mansion. So, make your way to the haunted pass. Which... Oh, there's the cryo snowballs. Make your way towards the haunted pass. If I can get there fast enough. Come on. Probably going like a longer route. Go to the haunted pass. And literally all you have to do is walk inside the haunted mansion and you'll get spookums. Next on the list is Hun or Ho Hunum H Hun Hunum Honum. I don't know. But it's a honey bug type Pokemon thing or Ethereum. All you have to do is go down to the shop and buy yourself some honey for only five credits and go over to some flowers stand over them go to your honey and use it and it'll do this thing then after that's done it will give you um honum or hunum um I'm going to skip one on the list, um, because, you know, the next one on the list is literally the same thing as Honum Hunum. Um, Flora Fluff, lure to sweet-smelling flower patches with honey or sweet scents. Um, see, right here, I got Hunum, which was like Pooh Bear. So, I probably that's going to be there for somebody else. Um, but all you do is the same thing. You stand over it, put the honey on it, and um, Flora Fluff will appear. Um, the one that I skipped is Feral or Feral or something. All you have to do is go into the dark facility. And I'll show you guys how to navigate that in a future video. Um, but all you do is, like I said, it's not working with mobile. You go in there, you go through it, and it takes you to the catacombs, and you just go through the catacombs, walk into the catacombs, and you will get yourself a feral or feral, whatever it's called. Um, next on the list is chamber, or chamber, doesn't matter. I think it's supposed to be chamber um because that's like it would be really smart if they did chamber instead of chamber because you know like a chamber i don't know um get killed by an icicle or an avalanche um i figure i'm not sure which would be easier an avalanche, to get killed by an avalanche or an icicle, but I chose avalanche, and I did it, um, I think it would be easier if you, like, phone a friend, and they come get your damage down to the last percentage, you use earthquake or a sound-based move, and an avalanche comes, you stand in the way of all the snowballs, and you eventually get killed, and you obtain chamber. Um, li light, like sick, lick sick. Um, pull the sword from the stone. So what you have to do here is go to the um, Phoenix Gaze Village or town. I always forget. So go through the winding corridor. Make your way to Phoenix Gage, Gaze Village. And then you're going to go past the church, right? And you go over here. Actually, I could have just went that, followed the path. Go over here to the sword in the stone. 
and all you have to do is tap that. Um, it'll tell you you heard um, a story about the sword and the stone once, um, and it'll ask you if you want to pull it. You pull it. A little damage is done, but that's okay because you get like sick or lick sick, which is pretty cool. It's a cat-like Pokemon or Ethereum. It does have a knife in its mouth, which it reminds me of uh, Zacian from Sword and, or from Pokemon Sword or Shield. Um, so hopefully it would it would be cool if they made like a Zamazenta type. Ethereum. Um, next on the list is Cry Mortar. Um, all you have to do is get hit by lava from a lava geyser, and I should have stayed where I was. Go back here, this way, that way, to the, the magma heights. And all you gotta do is find one that's going off somewhere. I wonder if these are loaded in. Oh, it's over there. That's why. Um, there. You just stand up here, and you get hit by them, and you'll get crime order. Um, next on the list is Lucifice. Um, cause an avalanche with a loud noise or an earthquake. Same thing here. Just cause an avalanche with earthquake or sound-based move. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to get killed or avoid anything or collect anything. You just cause an avalanche. Uh, next on the list is Solar Rain. Watch the sun rise from Grist Mill balcony um all you have to do is go to the windmill go up to the balcony and i think for me it would be easier just to teleport up there or for now when it you're like climbing ropes or vines i think it would be easier to have like a fast small pokemon or eth ethereum like um lella fairy should probably teleport up here. Nope. Come on. Okay, that's not working. Um, you just go up here. And I haven't done this yet. But it's got to be the sunrise. You go over here to this part. Because it's faced, kind of faced directly towards the sun. The sun will rise over there by the volcano. And you watch it rise, and you get solar rain. Next on the list is Minart. All you have to do is explore the deep ocean. So come over here by the town. The Alcos town. Jump over here. It's like right outside the power plant or between the power. It's it's beyond the the um the thingies, the boys or whatever. And all you have to do is enter the deep ocean. And there's that catacomb there, that shrine thing from the last two videos. Now it's in all three Monsters of Ethereum videos. Um. And that's all you gotta do. Next on the list is... Oh, God. Koizai? Koizai. Yes. Koizai? I think. Where am I? Oh. Let's go this way. Um, all you have to do is use a sound-based move in Whistleboro Cave. What I did was I spawned as Ella Kitty, um, and went to Whistleboro Cave and used Growl. And I got it. Next on the list is Ovlin. All you have to do is grab an extra piece of coal, come down here to the bakery, which it looks like that's where Leonardo works because he's got 
you know, a baguette in his hand, but that's probably just because he's French. You tap fuel oven, or click it, and it'll give you ovlin. Next on the list is chromite. Harvest from a stalactite uh, uh, after making it fall down with an attack. So all you gotta do is again go to Whistleboro Cave. That's three in a row. Uh, grab the extra coal, the loud noise, and now all you have to do is use Earthquake. A stalactite will fall down and you harvest it. And you will get, what was it? Chromite. Carapinch. Or carapinch. Um, sometimes, yes. Or it can sometimes be found in desert faces. Um, all you have to do is, while you could be looking for Duram Duram, um, all you have to do is use Tackle or Bash on these vases, or vases, and, like, it'll, it's just a random chance. Like, you break it, and it'll say that you've got Carapinch, Carapinch, whatever it is. Uh, the next one is Edgehog. Um, all you have to do is win a private match. So, you just go here, you can challenge one of these people, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to, but it looks like I already did it. Or you can accept it from someone that you have, or that has challenged you to one. Um, the next one is Kitsakura, um, or Kitsakura, yeah, I think that's how you say it. Um, offer a cactus flower to the Sakura Shrine. Um, all you have to do is use a water type attack, or water attack, spray it onto the cactus, or cacti, um, that is way off, and, but it has to be water, um, it will grow, uh, cactus flowers, you harvest the cactus flower, you go over to the Sakura Shrine, which might take a while, I'm pretty sure I'm going the long way. Just go up here. Go through the winding corridor. Go this way and that. And eventually it will take you to this right here. Go through the cave. Not Whistleboro Cave. Um, it'll take you over there, or over here, to these steps, which are hard to see. Um, you go up them. And it will take you to the Sakura Shrine. You examine by tapping, which I can't do, and it'll tell you, um, you feel at ease, oh, you see the shrine surrounded by sacred trees, you feel at ease, and it will ask you if you want to, um, make an offering of the, um, the, the cactus flower, and if you do, it will give you Kit Sakura. Next on the list is Clover. All you have to do is do good deeds um, to gain great positive karma. Um, I'm not exactly sure how you do that. Um, it might be like stopping the trees from burning down and things like etc. Et you know. Next on the list is Ella Kitty. Uh, do bad deeds to gain great negative karma. Uh, burn down some trees, etc. Um, like, I have Alakitty, though. Maybe once I prevent the trees from burning down, I will get a uh, clover. Next page. Next on the list is a Menbee. Um, I used, um, 
my mag mantle for this. All you have to do is grab your mag mantle. Or just anything with, like, tackle bash or something. Any, like, quick move. Yeah, a rush attack. Use a rush attack to try walking on water in the swamp. I know I probably should be, like, saying how to do them. Like, specifically, like, use a rush attack to try walking on water in the swamp. It's just, I'm getting so in the moment, you know, recording a YouTube video and all that jazz. Um, so, if I don't say it, it's okay. You're going to be able to see it in, um, the Ethere- Ether- Etherepedia or something. Um, all you have to do is go over to the swamp, which is definitely going to take a while because it is on the opposite side of the map. could kind of use extreme speed to get there, but, like, I'll only be able to use it once. Because it takes so long to load. I think it would be cool, like, if you were a fire type, it would actually do damage if you were in the water. That would be pretty cool. And, you know... Scientifically accurate. So come over here to the swamp where you have <laughs> limited vision, which I don't like. Um, all you have to do is like stand on the edge of the water, use extreme speed. Or whatever move you want, like ever whatever rush attack, and it'll give you a a men be for walking on water. Magmarva, this one was very hard for me to get. Um, you have to get stung to death by the Stingferno in a Stingferno hive. This was specifically hard because um I'm using mobile, you know. So, it's going to be, like, off. Like, really off. Your attack is going to go way to the left, or... I think they typically go to the right. So, try aiming to the left, and hope that it goes to the center. But after a couple tries, I, I got this somehow. Um, so all you have to do is spawn as a kid knight and use ember, or any, I guess any attack, but it can't be a rush attack, or, like, leer, or growl, or scratch, um, it needs to be, like, a long-ranged attack, and I kind of went the wrong way, um, all you need to do is use one of those, and aim towards a stingferno hive, like, let's try this one. Let's see if I can get this. Probably not. No, it's still way off. Oh, wait. Oh, I did it. And then you just, like, stand on it, and it will hurt you. But I don't want to die. So, next one on the list is Kachik. Use water attacks to grow and harvest cactus flowers. So, it is very similar to Kitsakura. Um, I think you'll get it along with Kitsakura because you will be harvesting the flowers. All you have to do, shoot them with a water attack and it will grow the flowers. Harvest it. And you should get Kachik. Uh, next on the list is Egglet. Collect an Egglet egg that fell from the sky randomly. This is specifically... Well, it might be one of the hardest to get. Because, you know, one, it just falls from the sky randomly. So there is really no time that you would 
set out to get it. But I'm not going to try to look for an egg. Um, because chances are I probably won't find one. Um, but it will just randomly fall from the sky. I found mine over here. Uh, now I've seen many. And I've walked over them. Nothing happened. But I found mine right here in the water. Because that's when it worked, you know? Next on the list is Vampiro. During the night, set five or 25 trees on fire with fire attacks. Um, now is a great time to do it because it's almost day. So all you have to do is, like, use your attacks. Mine are still off. Um, burn down 25 trees. But make sure it's nighttime. And I am going to try to get solar rain. If I'm lucky. Nope, I think I am late. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be late. Maybe not. Come on. Rise, my lord. My son. Rise. Okay, I'm gonna sit here for a minute. Um, next on the list is Guadrowsy. Um, collect and fill or collect a full wheel of cheese from the barrels. Okay, I think I was a little late. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I might have been late. Alright. Lucky for me, uh, there's... There's barrels down here. Um, which is pretty nice. So you just open them. You get a quarter wheel of cheese. I have... Um... I have seven quarter wheels of cheese. Which means I almost have two full wheels. Which... They just kinda... If you're down health, you just... They... Let's try it. They should regain somehow. Yes, they do. A very tiny bit. Um, next on the list is Mari Posun. Uh, witness a randomly spawning mirage in the Alkian Desert. This one, um, we saw on the way to get chamber or, um, cryoball. We saw a Maju, um, right here. That is is normal because because that is the mirage let's see if i can find one they might spawn at like a specific time but maybe not there's got to be one around here maybe not 